Nebraska Kearney needed a win after losing to in-state rival Wayne State. Only problem was their next opponent was number 12 ranked Nebraska Omaha in Omaha. And the Mavericks were looking for some revenge after losing the victory bell last year. First quarter, Rustin Dring scores from two yards out, lopes down. 10-7, second half, UNK down 23-10. Big interception by Jay Crop, who would be the Armac Defensive Player of the Week. Lopers take over inside the 30, they take advantage. Jake Spitzelberger screen pass to Dring. He goes 24 yards for the touchdown. Carney is down just 23-17. We go to the fourth quarter. Spitzelberger to Dring, what a game for the junior All-American. He goes over 100 yards rushing and receiving with three touchdowns. Lopers now lead 24-23, they win 32-29. Kyle Kaiser scores the game-winning touchdown on a 59-yard play. Spitzelberger finishes with 290 yards passing, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. CSU Pueblo was looking to be the only undefeated team in the Armac as the T-Wolves open the season against Northwest Oklahoma. As Garrett Ritonia reports in this Armac student story, CSU Pueblo wanted some revenge for last year's loss. Year number three for the CSU Pueblo football program, the T-Wolves trying to remain unbeaten in home openers. First quarter, the Thunderwolves are poised to take the first bite out of the game. We go to Jim Brooks of KCSJ with the call. Play action. Looking out in the flat, he's got a man wide open, it's Cartwright, and he's inside at 40, he's got it in the clear. 30, 20, 10, touchdown, Thunderwolves, no flags. Daquan Cartwright beats the Rangers defense for a 63-yard touchdown from sophomore quarterback Ross Dawson. But those two weren't done just yet. Moving to the second quarter, Dawson tosses a pretty fade to Cartwright, who battles off the defender for a second TD catch of the night. Pack leads 17 zip. After a Rangers touchdown cuts the lead to 11, Pueblo pulls a rabbit out of the hat when Jamal Johnson, out of the Thundercat formation, finds Kobe Wittick in the back of the end zone. It's now 24 to six. The T-Wolves defense was also opportunistic. Grant Crunkleton is the lucky Pueblo pick six winner, 30 yards to the house. Watch out, ref. Pueblo would go into the locker room with a 31 to six halftime lead. Third quarter, Johnson filling in for an injured Jesse Lewis made this his night. A short dump off pass from Dawson and Johnson is bouncing and weaving his way through defenders, 39 yards for the score. Johnson doing his best cheerleading on the sideline after the touchdown. Hey, good job there, guys. Good job, baby. Keep it up. He wasn't done. Johnson takes the pitch from Dawson, finds the seam, and turns on hyperspeed. 27 yards for the touchdown. With the game in hand, the mascot and students have a little fun as the Thunderwolves remain the only undefeated team in the RMAC with a 55-13 victory over the Rangers. I thought we started a little slow offensively, defensively started fast, and then we just kept wearing them down and we were able to run the ball and run out the clock at the second half. It was a great game for everyone on offensively. It was a big game for us. We wanted to rebound after a slow game last week. We started fast last week and didn't finish, and we wanted to do a better job of finishing this week, and I think we did. Being 2-0 really doesn't matter. We're taking, we're trying to go 1-0 every week. That's our goal. Uh, so, I mean, as long as we're 0-0 zero zero going into RMAC, trying to go 1-0. First game, come out to all of them, support us. Yeah, In Pueblo, Gary Ritonia for the RMAC Showcase. Let's head to Rapid City, South Dakota, where Colorado Mines was taking on South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. Another big day for Clay. Garcia hooks up with Tom Castens, gets his helmet knocked off, but that's still good for a touchdown. Game tied at 14, second quarter. Dan Palmer runs in from four yards out, or diggers now up 21 to 14. Then Mines pulls away Garcia to Robin Vanola over the middle. Check out the wheels on the tight end. He goes 29 yards for the TD. Or diggers up 28-14. They win 52-24. Garcia tosses for 417 yards and six touchdowns in the win. Alex Vigil gets nine tackles with two forced fumbles and a quarterback sack. 